What's up everyone, happy Friday. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a trade recap from Thursday, April 21st. I took Tesla long for the upside opening range break the day after it reported earnings, and I made $1,525 in just over one minute. It happened to be a great day, and to be honest, the last couple weeks have been fantastic trading. I'm just trying to take full advantage of it. So now let's check out the newsletter watch list. I was looking at Tesla, Netflix, Nvidia, and Facebook. And to be honest, a lot of these are on my daily watch list now because there's increased volatility, increased volume, so they provide good moves each day. I'm a big fan of focusing on the same core group every day. You don't need to trade a million different stocks to make money. You really only need a handful. When you understand how they move and then you focus on the technical levels, you can make plenty of money. And for those that don't already know, this is my newsletter watch list. This is what I post on my private Twitter 30 minutes before market open every day. It's my game plan going into each market open. If you're interested in getting access to this, there's gonna be a link in the description below. So now let's go over the technicals on the Y. To the left, this is the daily chart. We'll start with SPY. Red day yesterday, but held up all right, above the 9 EMA on daily. Holds prior day high, can move higher because shorts from yesterday would feel some pressure. Clears pre-market high, has room to 451, 453. Breaks pre-market low and stays below, has room to 445, 443. And now the Qs, so not a great candle yesterday, relative weakness compared to SPY in a range from 347 to 337, breaks above that range, could get going to the upside, clears pre-market high, has room to 350, 351, breaks pre-market low and stays below, has room to 341, 339. And now Tesla, so closed week yesterday, but now above that big red candle, big move in the pre-market, needs to clear pre-market high and hold up to catch more momentum, has room to 1090, 1100. Happens to be a sell the news event and sellers take control and breaks pre-market low, has room to 1020, 1010. And now Netflix, which was wrecked on earnings, elevated volume, so I think it's worth watching for the next handful of days. The dip gets bought today and clears pre-market high, could bounce, has room to 235, 240, breaks pre-market low and prior day low, selling pressure could continue, has room to 205, 200, also 200 is a big psychological level. And now NVIDIA, so had a chance to bounce yesterday and sellers quickly took control. 9 EMA on daily continues to be resistance. It's trading at resistance, so weakness could continue, especially if the market is weak. It clears pre-market high and holds above, has room to 222, 224. Breaks pre-market low and stays below, has room to 213, 212. And now Facebook, so had a nasty candle the prior day. Big day one down move, looking for possible day two continuation, especially if the market is weak. Clears pre-market high and holds above, could bounce, but has a lot of resistance above now, has room to 206, 208. Breaks pre-market low and stays below, weakness could continue, has room to 199, 195. And now going over the mental note of the day, so I said SPY in the queues and individual stocks kind of mixed after yesterday, some strong and weak, but all eyes on Tesla today, elevated volume, so as the opportunity to provide some quality setups, we'll be patient and take quick scalps. So now let's go over the trade. So Tesla had a huge move higher in the pre-market, so it's trending to the upside, just trying to focus on sticking with the trend. Obviously, if this sold off and formed a bear flag, I'd be interested in shorting it, but I don't want to fight that trend. So pulled back a little bit off the open, formed the high right around 1080, also happened to have pre-market high just above at 1081, and then set the low, and then look at this huge candle. So it gets back above VWAP and the 9 EMA, so it's forming an opening range break. I prefer to trade bull flags and bear flags, but the reason why I was okay with taking this upside opening range break is because the elevated volume. So I felt like if it breaks that high, it was gonna get some nice follow through. So found some support towards the lows, big buying coming in through VWAP and the 9 EMA really starts to speed up. I wanted to anticipate that high day break. So I went long, five calls, the 1080s, and I got filled at $16.40. It did pull back a little bit when I got in, but very quickly got bought right off the VWAP and then takes out the high a day, clears pre-market high, nice move higher, I always just take the quick move. So when I get a handful of points in my favor, I take profits and I sell those contracts at $19.45. So now let's go check out the PL. a nice one and done day, made $1,525 in just over one minute. That's a nice green day for me. So that was the trade recap. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.